Despite geographical limitations, Israel has risen to prominence as a result of the Israel-Palestine conflict, which has lasted since the Balfour Declaration of 1917. The Jewish state has emerged as a crucial power in the fields of science and technology, with a diverse range of accomplishments ranging from agricultural improvements to cutting-edge military development. Numerous research agreements with key world powers demonstrate Israel's commitment to research and development. Over the years, Israel has unveiled a surprising array of groundbreaking military systems, such as the Trophy, a full 360-degree system placed on tanks, designed to effectively repel incoming missile threats. The F-16I, SUFA, a customized F-16 derivative, features cutting-edge armament, a bespoke radar system, and a revolutionary helmet interface that allows pilots to engage opposing aircraft with visual targeting. The nation also has the Zifa Shurian, a 394-foot-long chain launched by a missile that detonates landmines upon hit, clearing routes up to 394 feet in length and 19 to 26 feet in width. These are effective in a way, but Israel has a lot more technology that are yet to be unleashed until now. Before we proceed, please hit the subscribe button to become a part of our community and watch more interesting videos like this one. Consider the Iron Dome, which protects Israel from missile threats from Palestinian radicals and the threat lying in Hezbollah-controlled Lebanon. This extraordinary defense system is a strong force and its strength may be separated into three formidable components. First, there are the Tamir interceptor missiles and launchers, the sky's attentive guardians. These missiles, armed with high blast fragmentation warheads, stand guard, ready to strike. They can identify and intercept incoming threats from up to 70 kilometers away thanks to their acute sensors and modern technologies. Then there's the ELM-2084 radar system, a watchful eye in the sky that constantly scans the horizon for signals of trouble. This cutting-edge radar device is critical in recognizing possible threats with pinpoint accuracy. The Iron Dome's ability to track and disseminate real-time data ensures that it is constantly one step ahead. Finally, the weapon control system is the operation's brain. It directs the whole defensive machinery, making split-second choices to keep Israel safe. It is the conductor of this military symphony, ensuring that the Iron Dome performs at peak efficiency. However, it is one expensive piece of weaponry whose missiles cost about $50,000 each and lapses in its defense have also been revealed in the current conflict. In contrast to the Iron Dome, the Iron Beam's development intends to address both cost efficiency and deployment speed. To intercept approaching threats, this upgraded device uses the Iron Dome's precision radar but substitutes traditional missiles with a high-density laser. While Raphael Systems has yet to formally confirm the Iron Beam's specific range, which is apparently around 7 kilometers, it has received notice, being exhibited at AUSA 2022, the Association of the United States Army's National Conference in Washington, D.C. During preliminary testing, the Iron Beam proved capable of detecting and intercepting a wide spectrum of threats, including drones, missiles, and mortars. While test and trial runs have been promising, it was discussed in 2022 that a full-scale deployment of the system could take several years. There were also conversations of possible iron beam exports, with Michael Lurie mentioning negotiations with a U.S. corporation to market the system to the Pentagon. This suspected company is thought to be Lockheed Martin, which has also been working on a high-density laser system for the Department of Defense comparable to the iron beam. Testing and field deployment of such technologies may yet take time. In terms of cost, the Iron Beam has a major advantage over the Iron Dome. It uses electricity rather than traditional explosive ordnance, which not only speeds up the process, but also eliminates the need for ongoing maintenance. It costs tens of thousands of dollars on a rocket, but the plan of the Iron Beam is to be able to cover the cost of the electricity used to shoot the rocket down with just $2. The Iron Beam's low cost makes it an appealing alternative for governments looking to improve their defensive capabilities. With its strong relations with Israel, 
India is well positioned to benefit from this cutting-edge technology. The recent bilateral innovation agreement between Israel and India, as well as the subsequent approval of expanding R&D innovation worth $5.5 million, highlight the potential for collaboration in the development of dual-use technologies and their export to third-world countries. With dreams of becoming a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council, India may strengthen its position as a global superpower by improving its R&D in high-density laser-based systems, placing it on level with the P5, which includes the United States and Israel. The Iron Beam is intended to act in concert with the Iron Dome and employs a fiber laser to destroy aerial threats, representing a substantial breakthrough in Israel's defense capabilities. While the Iron Dome has shown to be efficient in protecting Israel from missile assaults, the addition of the Iron Beam could improve the country's ability to resist a greater volume of incoming missiles. However, the region remains under threat of escalation from other factions, and the IDF remains prepared to launch a ground offensive while negotiations continue. The Iron Beam laser defense system has been praised as a strategic game-changer by Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, who emphasized its economic efficiency in repelling rocket and drone threats. This cutting-edge device not only boosts Israel's military capabilities, but also its economics by considerably lowering the cost of detecting hostile rockets. The focus on the system's economic benefits by Prime Minister Bennett reveals a broader perspective. The Iron Beam not only improves Israel's security, but also contributes to its economic resiliency. By lowering the costs of repelling rocket threats, the government may better manage resources, both in terms of its defense budget and general economic stability. The possibility of using the Iron Beam emphasizes the dynamic nature of modern combat. With opponents continuously changing their tactics, Israel's ability to develop and deploy such advanced equipment demonstrates its dedication to remaining at the cutting edge of defense technology. Furthermore, by providing Israel with more accurate and effective means of neutralizing threats, these innovations contribute to regional stability. Israel exhibits its commitment to responsible and ethical defense techniques by lowering the risk to non-combatants and minimizing collateral harm. The current war situation has caused the Israeli Defense Forces to bring forward the deployment of the laser system considering the fact that the Iron Dome is being overwhelmed by the constant barrage of missiles. According to the official, it is the world's first successfully tested system of its kind. When asked, the current Israeli administration regards the Iron Beam as revolutionary. In the tests, the system works best against close-range threats like rockets, mortars, drones, and anti-tank missiles. It can engage such threats from a distance of up to 2,000 meters. The first system version is ground-based. In addition, the official stated that in the future, there would be air and possibly space-based Iron Beam systems. Is the system, however, truly game-changing or revolutionary. According to Ryan Boll, Straffer's Middle East and North Africa analyst at Rainin, although other laser-based defense systems have already been deployed, none claim to act like Iron Beam to cheaply destroy small targets like rockets. So in terms of mission type, Iron Beam stands heads and shoulders above others. Bull believes the Iron Beam has the potential to make it less expensive for Israel to resist rocket and drone strikes, so long as the system performs as well in a real combat situation as it does in testing. There's also a question of the logistics of supporting the system and the price of the supply chain. The $2 a shot may be a headline phrase that in practice doesn't quite pan out. There's also a question as to whether or not Hamas or other militants might find their own ways to cut costs to keep pace with the economics of Israel's defensive systems. Since the last battle between Israel and Hezbollah in 2006, the Lebanese group has gathered over 100,000 rockets and missiles, many of which are precision-guided and capable of reaching anywhere in Israel. Like a forecast, analysts believe that if another war breaks out, the organization will try to overpower Israel's Iron Dome and other missile defense systems by sheer force of numbers. And that has already happened. 
During the previous Gaza war in May 2021, Hamas appears to have tried this, albeit on a far smaller scale than a Hezbollah barrage would most likely be. Recent events show that it is important for Israel to get another defense system in place to protect its borders. It's unknown whether the Iron Beam can properly defeat such a massive barrage once it's deployed in substantial numbers. Similarly, it's unclear if the technology will be helpful in combating the rising threat posed by drone swarms. Right now, it remains theoretical as to how well Iron Beam would perform under such swarm attacks. Other systems have touted their ability to block such attacks and failed to completely block them. It remains likely that cheap rockets and missiles will, with enough scale, be able to penetrate even the most advanced systems at least some of the time. Drones are also an unknown quantity. Over time, they may develop more advanced navigation systems that could avoid these kinds of batteries at least some of the time. The introduction of Iron Beam may also have long-term implications for Israel's traditional missile defense systems. In the near term, it's likely that they'll complement these systems as Iron Beam is rolled out and tested in battlefield conditions. If Iron Beam works as well on the ground as it does on paper, it will increasingly replace Iron Dome, which might make Iron Dome a system more likely to be exported by Israel given it would then have a reduced role in the Israeli Defense Forces. What do you think of the Iron Beam? Will it be even more effective? Let me know what you think in the comments section. See you in the next video.